Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects, I'll show you how to create beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For today's DIY projects, I'm using Dollar Tree items and I'll be making these two beautiful wall sconces and I made them large enough for my bedroom. And I'm also going to be sharing with you how I made my bed. This is a DIY headboard and I also upholstered my bed frame to match my headboard. So let's jump right into today's DIY projects. For the first project, we are using balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree and this is a large size. I'm also using a foam disc and I'm just going to place those balloon sticks in the foam disc and use my metallic gold spray paint and I'll spray paint those sticks and I'm doing 10 pieces of those. I'm also using 24 pieces of my clear sticks. So for each sconce, you're going to need about four packs of um, balloon sticks. Before we continue with our project, this next 60 seconds is brought to you by Homery. Homery is an online marketplace for all your home decor needs. They are currently having their summer sale, plus you can use my code NISI7 for an extra 7% off. Their website is very easy to navigate. You can shop by department. And they also have items that are 24 hour dispatch. Just select the 24 hours dispatch and you can see all the items that's available. And that way you'll get your delivery within a few days. They offer a variety of items from lighting, outdoor, wall decor, and furniture. If you're not sure where to start, they provide room ideas and they have different styles. They offer free shipping, 30 day return door exchange, late delivery compensation, and damage compensation. I ordered a rug, two side tables, and two pillowcases. And I'll show you more on those, but let's continue with our projects. We have our 10 gold bamboo sticks and I'm just going to cut them down to size and the longest one is 17 and a quarter inches. So I need one piece of that and then the next size down will be three quarters less. So that's 16 and a half inches and we're cutting four pieces of those. So each size we're going to be cutting four pieces of each size and the next size will be 15 and three quarters and so on. The next size after 15 and 3 quarters will be 15 inches and that's going to be two pieces of gold. So we're using four clear, then separate it with one gold and we're doing the same for the opposite sides. Now this is our center piece and I'm using my same foam disc. I'm finding the center of my longest stick. And I'm placing it right on that foam and making sure that it's lined up properly. And I'm using my hot glue for this. Just make sure that first one is lined up properly and then you'll get all of them correct. Now on each side of the first one, I'll be placing my two longest pieces of clear. So on each side, we're going to have two pieces that are the same size. And then we're using a gold to separate each four. Now we're on the last one. Now I'll just use my knife to cut the excess foam. I'll place that to the side and I'm using some tower blocks from the Dollar Tree also and I'm using my wood glue to attach them together. Just use a generous amount of wood glue because this is how we're going to be hanging it on the wall. So we're using a total of 16 pieces of our tower blocks and we're just making a rectangle. Now place that piece of foam that you cut off in the center. Just make sure that it's centered. And then I'm using my wood glue to connect four more pieces of my tower blocks. And I'm turning the skinny side upwards. making sure that it's lined up properly with the base and make sure that it's very close to the foam disc. Now 
Now remove the foam disc and allow it to dry. Now it's dry, I'm flipping it over and I'll attach one piece of tower black to the back. And this is just to balance out the sconce while it's on the wall. I'll take it outside and spray paint it black using my matte black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. While that's drying, I'm going to be working on my sconce and I'm using a piece of uh, my gold contact paper and it measures two and a half inches by ten and three quarters. Make sure that you cut it in the seam so it will be straight. Just going to flip my sconce over and use a small amount of glue right on the edge. And I'm not removing the backing because I don't want it to show those wrinkles. Or I don't want to see my sticks from the front. So I'm using my glue on the ends on both sides. Just make sure that it's nice and tight. Now it's just to attach it to our back and before I do that I'm going to be adding my hooks and I'm just adding one hook to the back. I'm using my hot glue to hold the hook in place and then I'll use my screwdriver with my screws just to secure it. Now the last step is to add some hot glue and connect the two pieces together and this should be nice and tight. And the hot glue is enough, but if you want it to be more secure, you can add some strong adhesive. I'm going to be attaching my sconce to the wall using these wood screws. Now to add my lights, I have these RGB lights and their remote control and I'm going to be using four of them. Four comes to a pack. They come with magnets so all you have to do is glue the magnet in place and then add the light to the magnet. That way it's easy for you to remove the lights when it's time to recharge them. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like it. I think they complement my night tables very well but what do you think? I'd love to have your feedback. Here's my nightstand. It has three drawers. I really love the gold on this nightstand. It matches well with my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint, so I really love that. I'm using a quarter inch piece of MDF. It's a queen size bed, so the MDF um, is 38 inches by 60 inches. And I found the center of my wood. Then I'm separating each side into eight equal parts. From the center to the top, I'm dividing that into four. And then from the top to the bottom, I'm dividing that into four. I took my pieces outside and I used my jigsaw to cut them. And now I'm using a piece of memory foam. This is what I have. I've had this. It's a, it's a twin size memory foam topper. I've had it so that's what I'm using. I'm getting some help because this was um, rather difficult, especially on the ground. When you don't have proper workspace and a proper work tool, the work is much harder. So we're using spray adhesive on the wood and then we're just placing it on the top of the foam. And then I'm using a serrated knife, just my kitchen bread knife, and we're cutting the pieces out. I'm using my scissors to cut the edges to give them a nice tapered finish. Now for my fabric, I'm using curtains that I already have and these curtains are ivory and I ended up using three curtains, um, 352 by 96 inches and this is a velvet material. Just 
just continue watching to see what I'm doing. If you decide to make one, just make sure that you pull on the fabric very tight before you glue them down. Because I had some edges that weren't as tight as they're supposed to be. So the next step is to build a frame and I'm using one by three. I went to the hardware store and they cut the um, pieces for me. The two sides are 39 and a half inches and the two inside pieces, the long sides, are 62 inches. I use my drill with my wood screws along with um, wood glue to attach all the pieces together. Then I'm using quarter inch foam that I got from Joann's and I'm just wrapping the outer sides of the frame. I'm using a half inch plywood for my backing and it measures 62 by 38. And I'm just placing my frame over my backing and the backing should fit directly inside of it. And then I'll screw the two pieces together. Make sure that you screw all the frame together before you add the foam. I didn't have my backing piece on hand, so that's why I did that part first. Now this is the back and I'm adding my fabric going right across. And I'm just using my hot glue to add the fabric because I'll reinforce that later. I have some dust cloth that I bought from Amazon. All the items I'm using, I'll link them in the description box below. So I'm adding my dust cloth to the back and I'm just using my stapler to staple the pieces. Now I'm wrapping my fabric around to the front and I'm not using sewing machine so I'm using my hot glue on the edges to make the creases neat and then I'll staple it on the inside. Now it's time to add my pieces inside. Just force them in place, make sure that they're even and they're sitting properly on the base. Now it's time to wrap my frame and I'm using a half inch plywood and I cut them to size. My bed frame is a metal bed frame that I got on Amazon and it's a 14 inch bed frame. So I cut my wood pieces at 14 inches by 80 I think it was 80 inches long or 81 inches long for the bed frame. So that's the dimension for my side pieces. I did the same thing with the quarter inch foam and then I wrap it with my fabric. Now I'm using my drill to drill holes in my bed frame. And I have these corner brackets that I'm going to be attaching. And for each side, I'm attaching two brackets. And they're nice and sturdy I will leave a full measurement in the description box okay so you can have exactly what I used and I'm using metal screws to attach my side pieces and this is how it looks when I was done the short piece is sitting between the two long sides okay I got some hooks from Amazon and these are the hooks that I'll be using and these are called French cleats I'll be using one set on each side and it's very simple on how to use these hooks they're ideal for the weight of my bed I'm just using my stud finder to find the stud 
And I'm going to make sure that I'm using one hook in each stud. And they come with a small level. So you just place the level inside. I didn't know if I could trust it. So I use my own level and it's correct. So now I'm drilling all my holes that I marked. And I'm going to be using anchors. Um, the French cleat says it doesn't require anchors, but I already have them, so why not? So I have one piece with no anchor, and that one is going in the stud. So I did the same thing for the opposite side. This is the design that I saw online. This is the bed that I saw, and I wanted that bed. Now I'm measuring the space between both cleats and I'm just attaching the opposite side of the cleat to the top of my headboard. And you want to use short screws, use half inch screws. And here's how my bed turned out guys. I'm so happy with how it turned out. But what do you think? I'd love to get your feedback. Everything just all tie in so nice with my nice rug from Homery. And here's the rug, it's very nice and soft. And the pillows are stitched right through. So the black design that you're seeing on the pillows is going right through from the front to the back. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave and share this video with someone that you think may be interested. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.